Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a function that takes an argument and returns a string value. In the, from the previous uh, video, the program that we have written um, defines a function that takes an argument but it does not return a value but rather prints uh, the result within print statements. So a few changes to make to this program. I'm going to create another function. And the other function, I will place the following code into. So this is what I want my function to do, is display the result. So I'm going to um, write below the previous function, or the first function. I'm going to now define another function. And I'm going to call this display result because that's what I want my function to do. And, and you can call um, your function uh, any name that is related to your program. So now I'm going to paste and I'm going to um, just make sure the indentation is, is fine here. So I just need to unindent this because this was within the while loop. Um, now it is not. So you'll notice that I've got error messages and this is because I'm using a, a variable that is undefined, which is temperature. So I need to pass temperature to the function as an argument. Okay, now the other thing that I want this function to do to make this a bit different to what we've done in the past is that it returns a value. So what I'm going to have it do is return a string value. So to indicate that this function returns a value, you use the return keyword. And I'm going to do the same for the second statement and for the third and finally for the fourth. Okay, now the second change that we have to do, so I think the, pro, uh, the function is complete to this point. Now it's how we use the function. Um, so this remains the same. And here, when I want to display the result, uh, if I had just called the function like this, and so because this is a function that returns a, a value, which is a string, um, if I call the function like this, it will, uh, the, the value that is returned from this function will be lost. So I need to either capture the result within a variable, or I could just simply print that value. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print it. And now I'm going to run the program. And just to show you that this works exactly like it worked for the previous um, program. Now the only difference is we have just uh, organized it um, using an, an additional function. So if I say yes, and now I would test, for example, this condition, I would do 25. And this will give me the weather is beautiful today. And I can test one more. And the correct uh, thing to do is to test for all of them. And I'll do, for example, minus one. And this will give me the else statement. And now if I press no, it's going to terminate the program. So I hope this was helpful for you. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.